Okay, so in this video, I basically want to teach you guys how to properly test your patch cables, guitar cables. Basically, this test will work on any instrument cable. Um, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to basically kind of give you a quick overview of just cables in general and where your signal's flowing through when you use a cable, what is the, where's the ground flowing through, um, how is it grounded, and then uh, show you how to test them and make sure that it's a good cable and that it's working, that it doesn't have a faulty ground or a faulty um, hot connection because that's what causes uh, cables to, you know, you get your buzzing and humming when your ground is not properly connected or it's not, or it's somehow tripping over and uh, bleeding into your hot signal or the part of your cable that carries your, your, tent, your tone. So, um, for example, here's one of the patch cables I made, the SP500. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, different type cables. Here's another one, just like a random cheap one. These two kinds of cables are mono cables. They're mono because as you look at the, the actual plug part right here, you have uh, this little black ring that's like a um, insulator and it actually separates this part of the plug from this part and the rest of it and so your signal is actually riding on this little tip and that's actually what it's called it's called a tip and then this part's called the sleeve of the plug and the ground connection actually connects all through here it connects even over the enclosure of the, this plug and so all of this is what's carrying your ground or it's how your your cable is grounded and your your connection actually goes from here to here um, and this is different than say this type of a cable this cable as you can see is a stereo cable because you can see it's got two black insulators here which means you have three different um, you have three different signals that are going through this cable you have your sleeve still which is your ground then you have the ring, which is this uh, circle part, and then you still have the tip. So that's why like on a mono plug, you just have the tip and the sleeve. And then on stereo plugs, you have the tip, uh, the tip, ring, and sleeve. That's why it's called TRS versus this would be a TS, tip, sleeve. Okay, so now back to how to test these with a digital multimeter. So the way you test them is what you want to basically do is you want to be able to test that if you touch this signal or this tip to this tip that there is no resistance and that you're getting a clean connection all the way through this cable from tip to tip. Then you want to test ground to ground. You want to make sure that the ground from this plug uh, is getting all the way through and passing all the way through to the ground of the next pl plug in the other side of the cable. And then the last part you want to test, and this is probably the most important part, um, is you want to test the tip to the ground of the opposite side. That's how I do it. You, I mean, you can test the tip to the ground here, and if, if you're getting um, zero resistance on your multimeter, which would mean that this part is connected to the ground then you, you know you have your about you know you have a bad cable but uh, I like to test the tip from this side to the sleeve of this side just to see it you know because then you're basically sending that signal through the, the actual wire in the cable to test that the cables good if you just test it here you're just testing the plug so here I'm going to demonstrate that on my multimeter we're just going to set it to ohms. We're not doing anything with volts. Um, so right now it says, oh well, there's, it means there's no connection. Nothing is passing through these two connectors. Um, when you connect them, you see it goes to zero, zero, meaning there's zero resistance from this connection, the red, basic, the red tester and the black tester. So it's saying there's pure signal that's just passing through there zero resistance so now what we want to do is we want to come here and do that with this cable um, 
So I'm going to test the ground. I'm going to touch the ground on this side to the ground over here. And we got zero, zero. So we know the ground is connected through the cable. Now I'm going to test the tip to the tip. And we got zero to zero. That means there's no resistance as the, and that's what your, uh, your signal would pass through. Now your, your multimeter may, after you hold it there for a while, it may show, it may change a little bit and show different signs. That's not an issue. You don't need to worry about that. Could be the battery. The main thing you're checking um, is that that initial connection, you know, you can always restart it here, test, okay, it works, and then go tip to tip. Yep, we got nothing, no resistance. And then the last connection is I'm going to hold this tip, still holding it on the tip, and I'm going to test tip to ground. And you can see it's saying there is, um, it's an overload because it's showing there's no connection there. The signal doesn't flow uh, from the tip to the ground or the sleeve at all, which means this is a good cable. Um, and I can test that with this cable too. I'll just do it really quick. So this is sleeve to sleeve. You can see, you can even go sleeve to the enclosure. And you see how you're testing that? So this is actually connected because it's all part of the ground. Then I can go sleeve to the tip, nothing. Sleeve to the tip, nothing. But then tip to tip, and we got, uh, we got a good connection. So that tells me that this cable works. Uh, I'll do it real quick on this uh, stereo cable too. Uh, so we can test the ground or the sleeve to the sleeve. We have good connection there. What about the sleeve to the ring? Nothing. Sleeve to the tip? Nothing. Okay. What about the, now I'm doing the ring on this top one, the ring to the ground. The ring to the ring. Yep, we have a good connection. The ring to the tip. And I'm not going to do the last part, but you kind of get the picture. Basically, what you're looking for is, is there zero resistance from the tip of one plug to the other side of the cable on the tip? And is there zero resistance from the ground on one side of the plug to the other side, as well as you want to make sure that there's no, um, that there's full resistance or it's, you know, OL stands for overload, that there's no signal passing through from the tip of one side of the plug and on one side of the cable to the ground on the other side. You do not want the ground and the hot or your signal connected. And um, last thing I'll do is I'll just show you um, show you this uh, this connection because sometimes even when I'm soldering this, I'll just even test. Um, I've had sometimes n not any of these SP500. I just got these. These are brand new. They're amazing. Super rugged. Super tight. I built these with lava cable mini ELC, and they've I redid my whole pedal board, and they're amazing. But I have found on these cheaper uh, cheaper cables, sometimes the actual plug itself goes bad. Like sometimes these things will actually spin in there and they start causing problems. So another way, um, just while I'm soldering, is to test these connections. So that's your, your hot or your positive, and that would be your ground on the side. And so I can test, you know, you won't be able to see it, but I'm going to basically touch the, just the, let's see if I can even do this. Need a third hand. I'm going to touch just the hot to the hot. Yep, I'm getting good connection. I'm touching the hot with my right hand to the ground. Nothing. Now I'm going to touch the ground to the ground, and it's good. And so that's a way to even just test the plug if you... If you're testing your cables and you feel like, um, man, it seems like the cable is good or you know that the cable's good and you're wondering if maybe your, your jack or the plug is bad, that's a way you can even test the plug. And so, yeah, super simple, super easy. You just set it on the ohm setting on your multimeter and test for those three connections. 
If you have a stereo plug that you're testing, you test all three. You test the tip, ring, and the sleeve. And anyway, I hope this video has been helpful to you guys, and I'll catch you later.